What's going on Pokemon Trainer? I've got a weird video for you today. First up, I'm gonna show you um, that I got hair extensions. Kind of interesting. I was just really frustrated with the way that my hair was growing out, so I decided to like go ahead and get that done today. So if you wanna see me getting hair extensions, keep watching. And if you're here just for the PVP stuff, you can jump ahead to this timestamp in the video if you're only here for PVP, you don't care about my hair. But uh, I'll go over some awesome PvP changes that have just happened in Pokemon Go. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to keep watching. It's kind of a weird, short, mixed up video because I'm getting ready to head on the road to California for the PvP tournament and Community Day weekend. It's going to be a good time. I hope to see you guys out there in California. Let's jump into the video. Let's go. What's up, guys? I just bought these hair extensions. I'm about to show you guys what I'm gonna do, but I wanna show you how these hair extensions work too. Um, they're basically just like clipped in. T totally crappy, I just like clipped them in just to like show you. It doesn't hurt, I'm just like being an idiot trying to get it out of my hair. But anyway, um, so there's little clips at the top of them, but it's a brown uh, piece of hair that's been dipped bleach blonde at the bottom. And the reason why I got that is because I wanted it to match the top of my hair. I'm trying to grow out the top of my hair brown. So it's eventually gonna look like this. And then this part will be blue. So this is gonna be dyed blue. So, and all I have to do is flip up like the upper layer of my hair and I unclip it. And then I can like clip it on and then clip it on my head. And then I flop my upper layer of hair back down and uh, probably looks like trash, but you know what, we're gonna try it out anyway. <laughs> so essentially, I'm gonna have double the volume here. I'm gonna have all this hair dyed blue underneath of my hair, like so it's gonna look like this. So I'm excited. <laughs> so let's get dyeing this blue. Okay everyone, it's the next day and I dyed my hair blue again. This is Manic Panic Turquoise, so you can see that my hair is bluer than it was before. Um, I kept my same brown roots at the top and also check this out I dyed all of the extensions the same color as this part of my hair so same dyes out of the same can manic panic turquoise and I left the brown roots at the top here to match my brown roots up here as you can see though it's still super duper super long I'm gonna need to get it cut today so let's go get it cut and styled I'm excited let's go find out what happens Ta -da! And now we have full on blue hair extensions. I'm super excited about it. If we're almost to the PVP stuff. Don't worry, we're almost to the PVP stuff. Just wanna show you guys, there it is. It's really long, it's hella long, um, but I'm probably just gonna wear it really, really long for a while just to have fun with it, but I'm probably gonna cut it here probably in like a month or two, because this is like extremely long, but uh, you know, anyway, I'm just gonna enjoy it for now. I think it looks great, I dyed it myself. So I'm really proud of it. I think it looks good and I think it kind of blends into my hair very naturally and nice. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm super excited about it. It reminds me of the old hair that I had before I chopped this all off. So pretty nice. Okay, so let's jump into some PvP statistics. This is just a general overview of the updates that are happening in Pokemon Go with PvP. So if you're into that, keep watching. Let's go. Now for those of you who are waiting for the Go Battle League in 2020, all my PvPers out there, there's some news for you guys and the upcoming Go Battle League. Battles will take place in all three leagues, the Great League, Ultra League, and Master League. And it says that this means in order to be the best, you need to be able to win in all three formats. Why? Because only one league will be available at a time and they will rotate throughout a season. So that means first up, in the Go Battle League, we might have Great League. So you're gonna have to do your best and get ranked up in the Great League. And then after that, they're gonna rotate to be the Ultra League. Then you have to be the best in the Ultra League. Then in that same season, they're gonna rotate and have the Master League. You're gonna have to be the best in that too. And then all of that will come together to give you your ranking. It's gonna be very intense. It says here that as you win battles throughout the season, your rank will increase even as Go Battle League rotates between leagues. You will start at rank one and work your way up to the top rank, rank 10. Once you reach a new rank, you cannot drop below it for the rest of the season. Higher ranks mean better rewards. We don't know what the rewards are yet, but it's kind of exciting that there will be rewards and a reason for you to try to rank up. Once you reach rank 10, measure against the best with your battle rating. Wins increase your battle rating, while losses will cause it to drop. 
you cannot use two or more of the same species of Pokemon on your team. Now I'm just going to read you guys some quick updates about PvP. If you want to get this full list, I'll leave the link in the description box if you guys want to read it. But let me just give you some quick highlights. When two Pokemon are using charge attacks, the one Pokemon that has the higher attack stat will go first with that charge attack. If both Pokemon have the same attack stat, then it's going to be random for which Pokemon attacks first. Switching Pokemon in battle now clears any changes to its attack and defense stats. So for those of you who have been using Pokemon like Lucario with Power Up Punch, where every time he uses that move, he gets a boost to his attack stat, if you switch Lucario out, he's not gonna keep those status changes. This is a very long list, so once again, this is linked in the description box if you guys wanna read it, but I'm just gonna quickly tell you about changes that have happened in Pokemon Go to existing attacks. They've changed Night Slash, Icy Wind, Hydro Cannon, Frustration and Return, Mud Slap, Sand Tomb, Earthquake, Overheat, Draco Meteor, Psycho Boost, and Close Combat. So if any of those moves are affecting your Pokemon, I would take a look at how they've been changed and if you need to start preparing in a different way in the future for your PvP matches. New moves that have been added to Pokemon Go include Octazooka, Mirror Shot, uh, Fell Stinger, Aura Sphere and Super Power. Out of this whole list, I was watching Zionic's channel earlier today and I found out that Aura Sphere can be given to Lucario. So we're gonna see some really good changes with him in PvP. So more details on what Pokemon can take advantage of these moves later on. Pokemon that now can learn new moves include Cloyster can now learn Icy Wind, Feraligator can learn Ice Fang, Porygon 2 and Porygon Z can learn Lock On. We've seen Lock On with the Regis, so this is gonna be very helpful in PvP. I'm excited about Porygon 2 and Porygon Z. Celebi can learn Seed Bomb, which is great because, you know, that grass type move, stab bonus. Shiftry can learn Snarl. He is gonna be a beast. Shiftry with Snarl, watch out for him. Kyogre can learn Surf now. That's just a given, I'm excited about that. Licky Licky can learn Shadow Ball. He's gonna be a beast. Licky Licky is a normal type, so getting that sh Shadow Ball, that ghost type move, he's gonna be something to watch out for. Tangrowth with Power Whip. He's gonna be a beast in PvP now. A lot of people have been using Pokemon with Power Whip, such as Ivysaur. Maybe Tangrowth will be able to replace Ivysaur now. And Heatran with Flamethrower and Stoutland with Ice Fang. Stoutland's a great Pokemon to have Ice Fang because he's also kind of like Licky Licky. He's a normal type, but having these cool moves, the Ice type moves, is gonna give him an advantage in battle. So this is really great Pokemon additions. And here's the crazy kicker for all of my PvP enthusiasts out there. Pokemon now have the ability to learn their previously old exclusive moves. So this is like mind blowing. Like we never thought this was gonna happen. Pokemon can learn their exclusive moves again. So here we go. Arcanine can now learn Flamethrower. Polyrath can learn Mudshot. Machamp can learn Cross Chop. Golem can learn Ancient Power. Gengar can learn Shadow Claw. Executor can learn Confusion. Pinsir can learn Fury Cutter. Gyarados can learn Dragon Breath and Twister. Snorlax can learn Body Slam. Dragonite can learn Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw. So this is intense. This is a lot of heavy hitting PvP Pokemon that are getting their exclusive moves back. Hopefully you guys can take advantage of these. I already see a lot of ones that I need to teach my Pokemon. Specifically, the Gengar with Shadow Claw. Whoa, maybe some Dragonites with Dragon Breath? This is good news all around. So let me know what you guys think about all these updates in Pokemon Go. Lots of crazy stuff is happening. Lots of good things coming into the new year with the Go Battle League and hopefully the updates to the buddy system is gonna come out. So get hype. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button if you did and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.